Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another exciting episode of Life in Germany. I'm your host, Martin Paskalov. Join me now as we go live to Pass Me, represented here by now me in a suit doing a British accent. Thank you, President Me. Now, as you know, as you're painfully aware, in fact, in a few months I'll be leaving Germany to go back to the shithole that you're currently in. During my stay so far, however, I've accumulated a vast knowledge of which I will regrettably only be able to share a smidgen today. <laughs> well, I'm sure our two viewers would uh, be delighted nonetheless. <laughs> mm, clever. In fact, I'm sure both of them are lining up at your door right now to hire you as a stand-up comedian, because no one's ever heard that joke ever before in the history of all time. Anyway, here's what I learned. Germans are typically very easy-going, very jovial people. They banter with you. They're almost as self-effacingly and apologetically polite as us Brits, and they just love to party. Here's an invitation I got for February 3th at the college club. I'm not entirely sure when that is, but I suspect I may have missed it. Shame, really. Mind you, I don't know who Gutschein is, I've never heard of her, but she seems to be quite a looker. Although, it's really hard to tell with all the layers of clown makeup and bullshit. Not everyone here is a bundle of uh, cheeriness, obviously. What's more interesting is that German girls move so incredibly fast that they simply are a blur, even on a high-speed camera. When they stop for a breather, though, you can clearly observe that they have a propensity for showing off their oddly shaped green breasts with their blue nipples, some of which even bear an evil face. Perhaps this is why in Germany there are still special designated spots where men can put down women. Green seems to be a prominent color all around. In my faculty, we have a little glowing green man named Gessler. He runs very fast and likes playing hide-and-seek. He also dares people to find him by leaving clues everywhere. I wonder where he ran off to this time. Perhaps they know. Sometimes he's so cocky he even leaves a map. Incidentally, most German maps are incredibly difficult to decipher because they're too big and complicated. But Gessler's maps are special. They even come with their own hint system. We have a similar green man in my dorm, but you can tell he's an imposter. For one thing, he's jagged round the edges. He also has a bigger head, and he never tells you his name. Although there are those that believe that this is Gessler's alter ego. Idiots, clearly. The dorm is entirely owned by the Lego group. My room is nice, but I'm constantly being watched by a disembodied head. And going to the bathroom is always a daunting task. The kitchen in my dorm is guarded by a tiki volcano god, reminiscent of the mask, who likes to hone his bone and make eruptions of hot liquid. The German word for kitchen, by the way, is kuchi, with a glottal semi-stop between syllables that I can't for the life of me pronounce. Kuchi. 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 Cylindrical squirrels are not allowed in the kitchen, but every kitchen has its own flying saucer, we also have Petra, a friendly little device that clones cups. Very efficient. In fact, the Germans are more technologically advanced than we are. They even have their own version of the supercomputer HAL. Study night. Perhaps as a byproduct of this prowess, often instead of a hi or a hello, you will be greeted with servos. The paper on this fridge is hiding poorly. This one's more advanced but can only conceal itself partially. One day they will be like the master. Master cloakers. They still have much to learn. Much like some cans we see here that keep cutting themselves shaving. They should probably take advice from this can. But they say he's a right cut. This can is sad. Nobody wants to play with it because it's square. And this one's had its mouth stolen by bullies. As you can see here, the owl is the mascot of the university. But for the most part, the birds here in Germanville, Germany, are pitch black and a little on the flat side. Some like to fly indoors. They seem to be attracted to lamps like insects are, which often spells their doom. There is all manner of wildlife or semi-wildlife to be witnessed, helpfully collected in the game park. In the street, however, 
everyone pays tribute to the giant bunny god. This bicycle stand is lonely, but this one's even lonelier. This one has grown very old, and nobody wants it anymore. The thing is, real German bikes are non-conformists. They don't need stands. This one's so hip it doesn't even have wheels. Buses, on the other hand, can be a bummer. They have a strict policy against coke, chips, and ice cream in close proximity. Signs like these can indeed be misleading, especially to foreigners who often confuse some of them with familiar ones from back home. Luckily, I've lived there. I mean here. Long enough, and will happily shed some light on what they actually mean. In a little segment, I'd like to call "Not Stealing from Zay." Not stealing from Zay. Not stealing from Zay. If you have to pee next to a sunflower, don't squat for risk of splashback. As you may remember, gender discrimination is only allowed in certain designated areas known as Aufzugs. Failure to comply could result in your radiator growing a penis, or your cheese whiz whizzing the wrong way. That may sound like a euphemism, by the way, but I assure you it isn't. This sign means going right is for spazzes. Go left. This sign agrees. Going right makes copyright kill mixtapes. This sign is a copyright spaz. Wotchen verboten. No idea on that one. Occasionally, you'll witness another kind of sign, such as this. A Nazi has spread like a fungus all over this wall of concrete. Take that wall! Yes, dyslexia is rife among vandals, as further evidenced by an admirer of the avant-garde Beatles track "Revolution Number、no. Nine." In more severe cases, they just give up entirely. And that's all I've got for now. Back to you, present me. In fact, he's an editor. Thank you. Past me. All time. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm sure both of them. Shit, 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 fuck, shit. Fuck it, I'm doing. In a few months, I'll be leaving. Months, of which I will regrettably only. No, 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 no.